Hello everyone, this is Salt in Sanctuary and we're back at it. Now we've uh, passed the first boss, basically, well actually it's the second boss because the first one was on the ship. Um, with, well, somewhat ease with our, with the help of our uh, bombs, which we have like uh, Grenado, they're called. We don't have any more at all. A couple of these, but eh, I don't even know if we're going to use them. And we're just going to be bound to continue onwards and see what the depths of our um, well, dungeon over here it's actually going to open up to us. We're level 19 a tad a lot more than we should be <laughs> nothing goes up they usually stay on the ground just... oh there we go this one wanted to raise itself from the from the dead another potato okay I don't I, I should sell those to be honest oh I haven't even quite seen this one there we go crap Archer got me in the end let me Yes, oh, I haven't played for a while. That's the uh, powered attack. This is the normal attack. For this we change weaponry. This we jump. And we don't care. <laughs> How did I do uh, this? We roll. How was I actually blocking? Oh, this is the block. Okay. Interesting to know. Got them all. Nice and neat. Haha. <laughs> he smacked me back into sense. Here we go, we got them. You can actually um, hit them where they're not, uh, well, when they're on the edge, you know, on the ledge actually. And you have, uh, if you're not quick on killing, you have actually a um, chance to finish up a mob. With action key, if it's damaged a lot. This uh, rotten walker thing is, don't worry, you're going to use them for upgrades later on. Okay, so let's see. This is still open. Yes, it's still open. This guy's still here. Yes, he's still here. We could go up on the bridge or we could go down below. Now, let's go down below for now. Oh, frack, I forgot about these guys. Luckily, I managed to mistakenly, well, not mistakenly, but by pure chance, Kill them without them killing me. Now I see there's something over here, so we're probably gonna drop down from somewhere on uh, on this path. Oh, you're gonna wake up on me? To be honest, I don't quite even know why I went up to go all this way when I could just have uh, come through here. Basically, be probably because I'm not used to this. Oh, this is gonna break. Okay. Well, there's a big ass mob over here which is probably gonna murder us, ain't it? Crap. That's not good. Can I actually even go back? Because I'm afraid now. Okay. Hello, friend. Uh, trinkets to sell, trinkets for coin. Ah, this is sort of a random shop, I think. Talk, buy, or leave. Let's buy and see what he has for himself. So, lock of hair. You can use this to upgrade stuff. And endless fang. This is also a thing. An item which would which you can upgrade your weaponry, but I think you need it for tier two type weapons. I don't know for sure. We're probably going to get a lot, a lot within the world, but right now I don't really see what we could actually do with the money. S uh, stained page. Oh, it adds arcane damage to your attack. Not bad, and we also have a bunch of ropes, but they are mostly nowhere near as good as what we have some right now this is a heavy armor though we don't use and this is light yeah actually thinking about it it would be quite decent if um, let's leave for now I'm not gonna buy anything for now at least okay goodbye to you too I don't know what that thing was with the Oh, uh, let me guess, this is going to be the onwards uh, part of the dungeon, which I'm not going to be, be able to access until I'm going to kill, like, another boss. <laughs> the pathway came up again. I have, like, no clue what this is. 
Unfortunately, I don't know how to change weaponry. Oh, this is a torch, okay. Can we actually go there now into the like the well, let me see. Uh, menu, video, audio, I guess, game, language controls. Uh, no, no. Okay, not that way, I suppose. Mouse. Remap keeps, there we go. Left, right, up, down, roll, attack, strong. And? Use jump previous item next use item hold torch or switch loadout no idea what this is tab okay inventory look left look up look right look down and that's it so how do you switch weapons then hmm I have like no clue be honest I can't really even seem to huh? let me see again so distort switch loadout maybe this one switch loadout let's let's try it out so it was tab oh there we go now we're talking I would actually try to shoot it from here to be honest and of course and you know what? Frack it. I'm just gonna go at it with what I have. Well, thank you, because otherwise I would have fallen. And he crumbles to the dust, into nothingness, in a place where I cannot follow. Great. There's a bat up ahead. Don't see much except for that. Oh, another bat which appeared out of nowhere. Great. Something at the end of this. And we got a calling horn and a stone guide. Oh, and we're actually out from the dungeon itself, right at the bottom of it. Well, pretty neat. And I suppose that was just um, um, a mop. The one with the pincers and everything that scared me the crap. <laughs> I haven't really quite used that uh, bow of mine. So if you, I guess, uh, remove a torch from your hand, it seems to, it gets removed at all. We need to open up like another one. Don't see any more mobs around. I do see a door. Oh, and it opens. If this is not creepy, I don't know what is. Village of Smiles. Yeah, and if I see a trigger. If I'm gonna trigger that, I'm not gonna like it. I see two hounds and a dude at the far end of the <laughs> of the screen. And if I'm not wrong, this is not level appropriate for me. But if I die, well, I lose a lot of stuff actually if I die. I wouldn't really quite mind dying. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna go back, because I'm a, a chicken shit like that. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is not level appropriate for me. Well, I am level 19, it might be level appropriate for me, but I'm not ready for it in no way, like, possible. Wow, I, I scaled those, or whatever you call it, like a pro. So, uh, if I'm actually not wrong, this way... Oh. The festering bank banquet. Okay, so we haven't really been that way. Well, you know what? Since we're here, and we're not gonna make that many videos of this, I'm gonna let you guys play it. Yeah, the game has a lot of things to it: upgrades, transmutation. We've talked, of, um, I guess, some uh, about. Let me use some of uh, my money over here, since I'm not. So I'm not gonna like lose them for nothing. Yeah, get as many as we can, actually. So let's take two more of these. I have three and three now, I think. Yeah, let's take one more of Lock of Hair, because we're probably going to use some more of it. We don't have enough already for a level up and salts. So if we're going to die, well, we're going to die, and that's going to be it. 
we should have actually, you know what, I guess we're gonna try to come back here eventually. But I wanna see the, the other part of the dungeon. Like, I really mean it. I really do wanna see it. It's supposed to be way much more than what we have already sort of uh, found. These are just, the bots are just gonna get me blocked and stuff, so I don't really wanna go with them. Bandits pass. Yeah, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Oh, this is actually another um, another shrine. Take oath. Yeah, take oath. Take the oath of uh, Devara's light. You will uh, denounce the tree and become an apostate. No, thank you. But we can always go for the level ups. We have enough for level up. Apparently, oh, actually, we did. We were pretty close, and we oh, <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just dumb like that. So let me see. This is gonna need two level ups, so we're not gonna go into them. We can pass onwards, though. By the way, and actually, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're not gonna take level two bow just yet. Yeah, we're gonna get the dexterity. All of these have three points in them, by the way. Some of them have two, because I already said like two points, two uh, level ups in them. Each point gives another um, point of dexterity, basically, as far as I know. Or whatever that skill is. Well, energy, endurance, and so on and so forth. So you can upgrade it uh, three times, uh, yeah, sort of, anyways. Keep that in mind uh, when you're kind of stuck with your level ups and don't know where to go. So make your character even further or even better. Now let's see what this guy is actually all about. Let's take whatever that is. Stones, uh, Cellsword. Okay. Hello, traveler. You're a stranger to Davra's Light, are you not? Yes. We are pilgrims of the goddess Devara, illuminator of all. Hmm. Without light, there is nothing. It is said in darkness, chaos dwells, and in chaos, there is no hope. Every night. The sun sets and we see her light flicker in candles, in torches, and so on and so forth, I guess. But the dawn of the next day is her blessing. Chaos is um, chaos is quelled, order is restored. Eh, nice uh, philosophy, I guess. Uh, those who do not follow the war are still welcome in uh, this sanctuary. We will see to it that you receive rest and supply. Okay, can I make like a uh, you know, devotion? Level up. Oh, so apparently, if I don't find one of the shrines and an empty one at that, I am not going to be able to actually. Uh, oh, ho, okay, we're over here. This is nice to know. So, uh, if if we're, if we're not going to. Okay, bill of return. We have three of them about now. Oh, so we're there. Okay. Um, so the statues and everything we want to do to, I guess, our what would it be? Shrine or sanctuary? Or sanctuary, this. Uh, it's like backwards from on the start on the beach. We're not going to denounce our gods. Which why would you do that? I guess. Um, <laughs> then you're not going to be able to invest in the shrine that we've just found. So that's that. Let me actually use the, the bow a bit. I'm quite curious how it works. This area over here, just after Divaras or whatever her name of the goddess is, um, you pass the shrine basically, after you pass it. This is an area which is pretty neat to actually farm for a lot of goods, especially items uh, that you're going to need for upgrades. So, Ah, you're going to defend, eh? Well, in that case, let me show you how it's done, eh? Oh! Okay. <laughs> I'm using the bow because basically, well, I don't really quite have what else to use. Let me, let me see this one. Oh, that looks thick. So, okay, the arrows. Oh, it does hit a lot, actually. I'm pretty decent at that. So we got some bolts back, some crossbows. We're pretty much as we started with the crossbow bolts. Uh, as uh, we started with the bolts and everything. 
Okay, there's a lot of guys there. But they seem to be pretty fun. Haha. <laughs> now let me see. What are they going to throw at me? They have this guy apparently. Oh my god, and does he hit? <laughs> I went like right into his axe. So he take, took some salts, not so many, so we don't really quite care. We're getting, gonna get carried to the closest sanctuary uh, to, I guess, near our death or something. Water of Blessing, so I guess this is the new potion or something? Okay. Let me actually see this. Yeah, we don't seem to have any more of the potions, we have Water of the Blessing now. Yeah, some protection and life. Okay, we have a few of this bundle of salts. As I said before, I have like no real clue uh, what to do with them. And with this you can return to any sanctuary with a guide in it, apparently. And with this you can return to any sanctuary that you have been before. Of course, they're gonna get used most likely when... Uh, well, when you're gonna sort of get to them or something, I don't know. I have no clue what I have removed. But we do have like... Can we change? No, I'm just taking off and that's it. Okay, go away. So, I don't even know why I have that selected. What can I say? I'm new to this sort of... <laughs> I'm not that good at it, so... Don't mind me. Now, this is not the way we actually came, but I wanted to get to that. How do I get to that? I guess we're gonna find out. There's a lot of new pathways, there are a few old pathways that I do remember and I would like to kind of get to, to be honest. A lot of these guys appear. Whew, I didn't quite really know where I was, to be honest. And my god, are they a lot. Are they a lot, actually. Drown peasant here, a wooden targe. I wouldn't have a wooden targe. Let me show you what this potion does. We actually drank one before last episode. It slowly is going to increase our life. Slowly. But it will. Throw your weapon. Come on you. Come here. Oh. It, he can actually reach that far. Well, that's something. Haha. <laughs> There we go, there he comes again. I'm actually thinking of using one of these, to be honest. There we go, we got him this time. I think we got an old souls, uh, our souls as well. And we got him this little pretty doggy over here. Now let's make a run for it. Are they going to kill me? No, they're not, but they were right goddamn close. To say the least, actually. Well, we're getting some decent amounts of souls from them. I have a doggy up ahead. Ah! I knew what you were about to do. We fought before. That's why. <laughs> okay, I think there's a thing. Oh, we have different weapons apparently. This dude's gonna try to do that. Yeah, well, he's gonna do that anyways. I thought he was going to try to throw the weapons towards us. So, let's drink another potion because we can go back quite easily to the shrine again. Let's see what it actually gave us. So, this is what? Why can't I really wear this? I think this is medium. Yeah, I think it's medium uh, armor. It's leather, basically. We have like nothing within... Um... Yeah, we have nothing already from the level up uh, tree um, selected or made better or whatever you want to call it in uh, the line of uh, armor, so... Except for the normal armor that I can, like I have right now, can't really say I can wear anything else. As far as I remember, at least. I may be wrong, though. 
This seems to be like another pathway into the castle with that dragon. Ah. And this is it. There's still a pathway beneath or close to the exit from the first uh, Olax. Okay. Interesting, I must say. Oh, actually, that was a trap, I think. But we've... Uh, no, I don't think we passed it. I think we've... Uh, crossbow actually shot at us. Yeah, this is not looking ominous at all. <laughs> so let me see this way then. This seems to go down. Probably need to activate something. So I guess we've cleared our name, you know. Got another piece of uh it's an item. Let me see can if we can equip them. No, just pretty much the same. But why can't we? Chain lengths or chain gauntlets would be like a medium as well. I really need to invest a bit more into my uh, armor, I suppose. There's nothing here. Look like a decent place to have something hidden. Apparently not. No idea where this one goes, though. Well, we drink a potion, but that's about it. So probably we're gonna we're gonna be able to open that one up later on or something we gotten a few more items now that we actually are able to use I must say we're pretty much everywhere and this should be the entrance to the castle that looks like either an NPC or a bad bad okay it's an NPC I thought it was gonna be a mage and it's going to murder us well 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 <laughs> looks like this is the end of the road for you friend oh great uh, if memory serves me right, the obelisk here is our door into the castle. So... Okay. The key, however... Now, that's a different story. Perhaps you should search the area below those uh, seaside ruins where a forgotten fist festers. Oh, great. So I'm gonna have to go to the festering... Um, how was it called? Festive or something? And kill probably the boss and then come back here, open up the gates and then go within the castle and do whatever we're gonna do into the castle. Uh, as I said before, the game itself has a lot of stuff added. Upgrading, um, um, different types of uh, tires for weaponry and stuff like that. It does tell us to go back, so we're, pretty much, we're just pretty much doing exactly that. Um, NPC's quest. Well, the quest is pretty, pretty basically. I mean, just like one quest and that's it. But even so, uh, pretty neat overall. Let me see if I missed something this way at least. Um, you you have a lot of bosses to fight. Uh, actually, a lot of bosses that uh, <laughs> are going to kill you basically. Probably this obelisk over here is going to be opened as well with a certain key from another boss or something. Because I don't quite see any other way around. There's also the obelisk that we found um, in our upper parts of the first part of the dungeon from the from the from the sea. I can't really get that for the lack of anything, but I can get this back of salts and a flagon mace. Oh, interesting with the mace, especially. Let me see the mace. I can use it. No idea if it's better actually. Let's try it out. Well, it's not as fast. But it is quite neat. Well, I guess I'm gonna try it on the first mob I'm going to see, right? Okay. Seems to be something behind those... Uh, behind those um, rocks, but I don't really quite know what. So it hits pretty decent. Yeah, you get, I got a bit of poison, not that big of a problem. Oh, actually this is the way we're supposed to go, but we don't have enough time to do it. 
Well, I'm gonna change back to my current weapon because I like it more. It's much faster. And I guess all that I can actually do is fight this thing again. I suppose we need to jump when he's actually burning or something, I don't know. Actually, the first ring, whatever, it was down this way. If I recall right. Yeah, but the door is not open. Okay, so um, we're probably is gonna be like the last episode of, uh, of for this game. I don't know for sure. If you guys want to see more, I guess I could try to play it. It's not really, uh, I suppose, my style of game. It's really punishing. I like punishing games, but to a certain extent. Uh, overall, it's pretty neat. I have a lot of stuff uh, for it. it uh, I guess uh, it has a lot of stuff for it. Um, not to mention the upgrading, the, upgrading, the different items, uh, the transmuting, which we kind of didn't really quite get to it. Oh, come on, do catch that ledge. Stop hitting your head. How about now? Still no? Okay, apparently we're sort of stuck. Great, and I want to actually fight bosses, right? Oh, well, whatever. There's our dude. There's our other dude. There we go, it gave us something at least. Well, since since he fallen to us, it's kinda mean from for my part, right, to just let him be. I'm gonna go back to my uh, initial sanctuary because we still have a statue that I think we can actually give or offer. And another of these merchant types is actually going to appear. So we have two types. Stone Guide and the Stone Cell Sword. I'm gonna go with the Stone Guide, to be honest. Eh, you know what, I'm gonna get them both. Can't offer. The Sanctuary has reached its maximum amount of villagers. Okay. Well, let's see, who's going to come in? There we go, we have this guy which does what? Need a hand? On what? Uh, travel, shop or leave. Let's see the shop. You can get the horns to travel faster. Okay. If I want to travel, I can go between the shrines for a small amount of something probably. Uh, oh, and I... On the bandit pass in that sanctuary though is not quite mine. Apparently I actually can activate the... Um, these, uh, these stones it seems. Don't quite know for sure, but I guess, well... And leave. So, the stone... Uh, the stone... Um, little statue seems to be quite good, especially for fast moving onwards within the game. Pretty neat, pretty neat. And since this is like the first shrine overall, and we're gonna want uh, to go, I guess, in more than one place or something... Yeah, we're at zero. Uh, it's pretty good. I'm I'm gonna look a bit for the armor. I think this class right tree armor. So somewhere along the oh, there we go. This level two armor, and level three armor is somewhere. Where, oh, there we go. We have it. So level one, level two. It's quite actually close, and we can take this uh, dexterity, or we can go with energy. Each way, it's pretty good. And we're gonna be able to get level two light armor to uh, to wear. Okay. So, um, the game is actually worth it, you have a lot of um, I guess components to it, a lot of gameplay, a lot of bosses, punishing fights, some more decent fights, some more easier fights, some very hard fights. Um, the fights are somewhat rewarding, the level up uh, system, it's uh, pretty neat, it's based on other games of course. Um, overall, it's a good game that you could enjoy for hours, on hours upon hours, and you can really get lost into it. The grind's pretty easy, as far as I'm concerned, at least, uh, at least in the beginning of the, um, of the gameplay. I don't know about further down the line. And well, that's about it. So with that being said, uh, if you enjoyed the clip, give it a big like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys and gals uh, around.